That's Haley enjoying her barf diet. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, mga kabayan. So for today's video of Dudes and Dogs episode, I'll be showing you how I prepare yung paribagong dog food diet na napili ko para sa aming American Puni na si Haley. Just a brief background of ano ba yung dog food na binibigyan namin sa mga fur kids namin. Ever since they started eating, ang inintroduce na namin sa kanila is yung dry kibble food. So I know you guys are familiar with it. So yun, uh, hanggang sa ngayon, yun pa rin kinakain ng uh, fur kids namin. So I remember before kapag naayon na nila yung dog food or yung dry food, uh, ginagawa namin, ginakaluan namin ng uh, in-can. So, Di ba meron mga uh, in can uh, or wet kibo food ang tawag yata I'm not sure so pakicomment na lang kung ang tawag doon basta yun na nga uh, yun ang binibigay namin hinahago namin sa dry kibo food para lang kainin nila so and, ito lately nga uh, napansin ko si Haley parang medyo picky sa pagkain eh uh, pag binibigyan mo uh, let's say in the morning kasi ang schedule ng meals nila is every morning and in the afternoon So, yun na nga, pag binigyan mo siya ng pagkain in the morning, isang hindi niya kakainin yun eh. Uh, misan, after nyo na niya kakainin, tititigan na niya or amin niya and then, yun. So, naisip ko na baka nagsasawa na yung aming uh, American bully sa ganun klase ng paulitulit na pagkain. So, I did the research, uh, like some of you guys, kung ano yung uh, possible na pwedeng ibigay natin sa ating uh, fur kid para naman maiba. After doing a research and watching several videos dito sa YouTube, I decided na ang pipiling kong panibagong uh, food for Haley is yung BARF diet. So ano nga BARF diet? BARF diet is originally known as uh, bones and raw food. Eventually, they changed it to uh, biological appropriate raw food diet. So basically, same lang din naman. Uh, 60% meat and The other remaining percentage is to bones and veggies and some uh, food or add uh, fruits then dun sa dog food diet na barf. For those who are asking kung paano naging transition heavy from pure uh, dry kibble food to barf diet, so ang ginawa ko, hindi ko agad siya siyempre tatanggalin yung uh, dry food na binibigay namin sa kanila. So ang ginawa ko nun is 50% Uh, for four days siya tayo. Four days, 50% na mayroong dry kibble food. And then the other half is yung, let's say, chicken meat, uh, egg, uh, vegetables, and uh, yung secreting organs like liver, gizzards. So yun yung inad sa food niya. So that's good for five days na laging meron parang pure dry kibble food. So during the transition days nung Uh, dog food diet ni Haley. Inobserve ko na siyempre. Inobserbahan ko kung ano ba talaga yung effect nito sa kanya. So far, so good naman. Wala naman akong nakitang changes sa poop niya. Uh, except na medyo uh, dati ang dami niya mag-poop. Kasi sa dry, pure dry food niya. And then, nung binigyan ko na siya ng uh, barf diet, medyo yung kumukonti na lang eh. So today, after the five days of transition na wala naman akong napansin na side effects or health issues sa kanya, today I decided na, itong pang anim na araw na to, I decided to give her you pure raw food. So like I mentioned, meat, uh, organs, and uh, vegetables, or pwede rin lagyan natin ng fruit. So now, I'll be showing you kung paano ako mag-prepare ng barf diet ni Haley. So, same pa rin. Every morning and in the afternoon, yung kanyang meal. So I'll show you how. So I'll start uh, preparing na yung meal ni Haley. So ang bala ko is mag-prepare na good for like 5 days. Uh, every morning and in the afternoon, para hindi na ako mahirapang mag-prepare. Kasi uh, during the transition days, ang ginagawa ko ay yun nga. Morning, tsaka lang mag-prepare ng food niya for breakfast. And then the afternoon, ganun din. So medyo nakakapagod. So I decided na uh, mag-prepare na for the whole week na. I have mm -hmm. here chicken neck for meaty bones. Also, chicken feet. Meaty bones. Okay. For muscle development, I have here 
lean beef meat. So this is no fats yan, red meat. Kailangan nila for muscle development. Okay, good for the heart. I have here fish. What kind of fish? This is tamban or sardines. Ito, meron pa akong natira na ano, uh, beef liver. I, I steamed this eh. So, ang ginawa ko during the transition this kasi I, let's say mga organs like liver, ano ka siya eh, nisteam ko muna para hindi mabigla yung aso. So, ang binibigay ko lang nung transition days na talagang raw is yung chicken feet, uh, yung egg, tapos yung vegetables. Kasi nga, natatakot din ako baka masira yun siya niya. So, so far so good. Wala namang ako nakitang health issues sa kanya. Since naubos na yung uh, beef liver, I have this one as an alternative in chicken liver. Meron din akong chicken gizzard. Eh. Uh, ito naman yung chicken thighs. Para uh, yan, meat and bones. vegetables, yung egg. Make sure na malimis before niya ipigay sa aso. Make sure na hugasan niya lahat ng ingredients ng uh, barf diet food. Start tayo siguro. After yung hugasan, then that's the time pwede nyo siyang slice. Remove nyo yung, uh, tawag dito, seeds ng vegetables or fruits ninyo. Okay? Ang ginagawa ko sa vegetables, after yung hugasan ito, uh, islicing ko na agad. Hindi ko na tiyatanggal yung balat kasi mostly ng vegetables naman healthy. Yung, may nutrients na nakukuha sa balat. So, ginagawa ko lang, kinakot ko lang siya in chunks. So yan, para naman hindi mabununan yung aso, na machok. Pero we all know naman kung gaano katiba yung panga nila sa kanyang teeth. So yan lang, yun yung ginagawa ko. So, tanggalin nyo lang yung medyo kapangit na part ng vegetables. So yan, ito sweet potato naman, slice ko na lang. No, Haley likes vegetables, especially itong ano na to, uh, kalabasa and sweet potatoes. Morning, as you can see, I have, meron ditong squash. Then in the afternoon, meron sweet potatoes na gulay. So, you can also add dito. One. In the afternoon. Tapos yung uh, egg naman, fresh egg, ano ito eh. Every morning ko lang binibigay. Uh, carrot chunks, meron din dito. Okay, so after naman ng vegetables, ito naman, I have a chicken feet. Ginagawa ko, tiyatanggal ko pa rin yung balat, you know, remove yung nails. Sa ibang videos na nakita ko, they don't uh, remove na ng nails eh. Directly pinapakain na nila sa fur kids na. But there's, that's their style, pero for me, gusto ko ganito. So, two chicken feet in the morning. Okay, beef meat naman to. Kung isang kilo, pwede nito tumagal na siguro sa inyo ng ano. Sa akin ha, Dato, kaya natin tumagal ng ilang linggo. The tamban or sardines. This one is for breakfast. 
breakfast consists of egg, fresh egg, uh, beef meat, sardines, sweet potatoes, cucumber, uh, squash or pumpkin or calabasa, and gizzard. This is her dinner. Same, sweet potatoes, dalawa, cucumber, carrots, chicken feet, chicken eggs, and liver. So meat niya is itong chicken thigh. Okay. Okay guys, based on my research, the benefits of feeding your dog ng ganitong barf diet are the following. Skin and coat improvements, cleaner teeth and fresher breath, less odor, and calm and ener uh, energetic dogs. Alright guys, so I'm done preparing food for uh, Haley. That's gonna be good for two weeks na. So yun. So inabot lang ito, wala pang ano ito eh. 1,000 siguro. Is, hindi ako nagkakamali. Okay guys, so mga mabibigay ko ng advice sa inyo, kapag nag-transition kayo ng uh, dog food diet ng inyong mga fur kid, make sure na observe nyo lang sila. Yung health nila, kung meron ba changes, lalo na sa poop nila. O, once na meron kayo nakita ang kakaiba or something like medyo nag, uh, ano sila, nagkakaroon ng diarrhea, uh, then stop it na immediately and bring your fur kid to the vet. I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe and share this video to your friends. Okay, guys, let me know lang baka meron ako na mayroon may suggestions kung ano pa yung pwede kong i-add na uh, ingredient dito sa kanilang diet food uh, na mas makakapag-improve ng kanilang health. So, yun lang guys. Uh, I'm open naman sa, uh, sa suggestions. Okay?